Hello everyone, welcome to Ravis Academy. Today we will be discussing how to convert a pictorial view that is isometric view to orthographic view. So this process is known as conversions. Uh, let us see the object and x indicates the direction of the view for the front view and uh, if you see from the front you can see that it is uh, this particular surface uh, you can see that it is hatched surface you can see in the front view okay and uh, in side view that is left side view you can see that the shaded view appears this l shape and one rectangle shape these two appears in side view and uh, top view unshaded uh, uh, view is given that is uh, here it is the left over part you can see from the top so as you know this will be working out by box method rectangular box method let us draw a horizontal line represents your uh, intersection of hp and vp and uh, draw a vertical reference line it represents intersection of your VP and the profile plane and the dimensions if you see the in front view the length is 56 and uh, you can height is 20 mm so here it is 56 height is 20 mm so you can complete the box for the front view this is your front view and this dimension is 56 and height is 20 let us draw the projectors and uh, in top view the length remains same and width is uh, 32 mm you can mark 32 mm this is 32 so you need not mark dimension in top view because this width remains same which you have mentioned as length length remains same and in order to get the rectangle for this side view let us draw a line at an angle 45 degrees and uh, draw the projectors from the front view and uh, as well as draw the projectors from the top view up to this inclined line and project it upwards similarly here also project it upwards and you are going to get the rectangle for the side view so you got all the layout of the views now you can go for the incorporating the features of the object you can see that in front view simply you can see it appears in the front and it is a simply a u shape you are going to get okay and uh, this width is symmetric it is a 16 mm both are identical so you are going to have a 16 mm and uh, base you can draw after this it goes up to 16 mm goes up to 6 20 mm and from here this is 16 mm here also it is 16 mm and uh, in the depth you can see that this width is given as 10 mm and you can draw this line and here exactly you can see that uh, hidden groove that you have to mark with the dashed line so this completes your front view that is uh, that is indicated with the hatching and uh, top view you can see that uh, one two three three rectangles appears in diagonal so draw the projector this is one rectangle appears in top view and this groove you can draw the projectors for this and finally this So you can complete the top view simply you can see that uh, three rectangles appears in the top view diagonally and the side view also it appears in the form of u you can see the width is it is mentioned at c8 mm and base is same height draw the projector and you are going to get this and this groove will be dashed inside view also so this completes your side view also left side view i hope you have understood this problem now you can start practicing thank you